You på Vesterbro, Westbridge Christmas, episode 14, It Dogiem, A Dollhouse. Thoughts? Another episode I love, though I will criticize the problematic aspects and the, uh, yes, spoilers for these first 14 episodes. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, uh, Danny, you know, Stuart tries to talk him out, tries to, you know, get him to, to not do it. But Danny opens the door to, to Randy and is like, uh, Danny's not here right now. I'm, I'm Danny's twin. Danny, um, an, a different name. Wow. And, let's see. Yeah, and, and I love that Danny thinks he, do, he doesn't know what a, what a candle is. He thinks that it must be fireworks. And, you know, when, when, um, Anna lights it. He's like, you know, and and then have uh, you know he's he's like okay with it. Like you know, I I don't think it's the first time that he's been inside while fireworks have been lit. So it's just you know he just has to get back in in that groove, and you know he's very disappointed when there's no yeah when it turns out to just be a candle. And, yeah, we have a very messed up line, you know, Ann is like, they're fighting like cats and dogs, and Stuart's like, the only thing I know about cats and dogs, and I don't think I want to repeat the rest of that line, but, yeah. And, let's see, yeah, and, and Stuart tells the, the Muslims, you know, you, you better eat or you're going to end up looking like that guy. There's no one there. Exactly. And the thing about, you know, oh, yeah, you know, her, her skeleton left her body, and eventually she died. Wow. And he mentions that the blowjobs improved, which, like, yeah, um, yet another incest joke. So that's... And, and the hot dogs are getting increasingly disgusting. Like, at this point, there there's, like, actual, like... Ah crap! What's it? What's that called in English? M mold. It's r rotting, something like that, you know. And you know he drops his cigar into it and just picks it up and and this, wow. And yeah, and as he's unwrapping the the beer from his advent calendar, he sings this classic Christmas song. And this is something that I will say. You know, young um, kids and teenagers in 2003 had probably heard this song, even though it's ancient. You know, because it was a, a classic. It was a standby for. Right? Do you do y'all do that in in America? Uh, uh, in Denmark, you know, we will will dance around the Christmas tree while singing, like, um, yeah, like. Christmas carols, basically. Yeah, you, you get, like, carolers outside, and then you listen to it on... Yeah. I, I don't love everything about Christmas, but I will say it's it's a pretty positive experience to be singing Christmas carols with the family. Um, so, yeah, you know, if, if you're looking for a way to mix up, you know, try something new, it's, it's a very positive experience. Anyway, um, yeah... Um, Anna trying to, the, the, um, yeah, so Anna is trying to convince Danny that the, the baby is a good thing, and he's like, you know, I think you are very privileged, and Randy doesn't understand, so she's like, yeah, you're so privileged, it's dripping out your, that's not what that means, but the, yeah, and, you know, he's like, I think you should pick the baby up. And Andy's like, no, no, please don't. And, you know, it's like, it's, you know, no, it's, the baby doesn't bite. It doesn't even have teeth. So what you're saying is, if it did have teeth, it would bite. Which, I mean, it's one of those things, like, that's something Honest Madison, at, at the time, really loved to do. Like, pick apart, you know, if, if someone says... This won't happen because of of this. He'd be like, so you're saying if not because of this, this would in fact happen, you know. Which 
yeah, a, a lot of the time that was quite funny and, and even insightful. I don't know where anybody gets the idea that babies don't bite, but it is true that they don't really have teeth yet, but they're like, they're trying to gnaw on pretty much anything they can, you know, it's just, but yeah, they don't have teeth yet, so they it's not going to hurt, you know, but that is, yeah. I mean, maybe that is what Anna is trying to get across. Like, if he bites you, it's not going to hurt like if a person with teeth tried to bite you. But, but yeah. Um, and the, the, yeah, and, you know, he's he's standing there holding the, you know, patting the, the baby. And he's like, good baby, no biting Danny. <laughs> and and Stuart's like, I never thought I'd see my, my son so, be so you know, so so mature, you know, and, and he's like, oh yeah, this is going pretty well, and he drops the baby, <laughs> and, and, you know, Stuart's like, you know, my father said, no crying over spilt milk, or drop babies, and, you know, yeah, he's like, oh, no, no, you didn't see that, no witnesses, and picks it up, and, and the, the, the leg fell off, because it's, it's plastic, and <laughs> he's like, I was about to give you all my money, but I'm not going to do it if you're cheating, you know, cheating as if it's, like, a board game or something. It just, yeah. And, you know, it is also, yeah, I'm, I'm sure, Danny, you were definitely about to give her the money. 100%, you know, it's just, now that he has an excuse, he's going to be like, ah, oh, look, aren't I good, you know. And the, the... Yeah, you know, it's again playing into this misogynist stereotype that women are trying to cheat men. And then we have the... Yeah, it's revealed she is actually pregnant. Which, you know, doesn't really... It's not actually, like, a new problem, but it, it's, you know... Yeah, it... I, I will say it is funny that she's been lugging around this plastic doll claiming that she's already given birth somehow and you know Stuart has that that great line about you know I've seen people have sex with you know plastic dolls I've never seen someone give birth to one 